What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another My name is Jeff. Reacts. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It's another day. Quite frankly, I don't exactly know where their videos are at at the moment. Things have been really kind of sporadic and crazy behind the scenes here. I, I'm, I've just been kind of trying to keep up, get the vlogs going, keep the reactions up at the same time, and just some personal stuff. I mean, nothing largely negative, but it, it's been crazy to say the least so i don't honestly exactly know where i am in the videos right now but i hope you guys are having a great day and if it's the weekend we're getting into the weekend i hope you guys have a great weekend you deserve you deserve to have a good day regardless and if not i hope i can bring some sort of positive light to your day because guys whatever's going on for you whatever it may be just remember that you are not alone you are never alone you're a warrior you're a soldier stay strong i believe in you and if you need it the comments are there for you to vent or you can dm me personally on my socials but you do god this you're awesome you're unique in every single way guys i love you all try to stay strong bro fist high five you got this guys and i'm gonna stop doing that because the camera is still a little off balance now today's request if i may transition a little bit is from triple nine let's see is this a new pretty reckless song let's open it up how to get back into pretty reckless more just do all this stuff that i used to do this is from nine years ago so it's not new but this ought to be good either way. I definitely don't think I did this song before. <laughs> Parental advisory, explicit content. Yep, Taylor's pretty out there. But yes, this this comes from Triple Nine. Guys, check out the links in my description. You won't regret it. Trust me, there's a lot of fun stuff for you in there. I think I can get the gist of the song. slice the dice here too. Okay, so it's painfully obvious that this, I should have known the song going to hell. Taylor's not gonna be sarcastic or anything. When she's talking about she's gonna go to hell because of all the things she does and I'll dive into it more after the song is over, but between what appears to be extreme raunchiness here, nudity, the cursing, God knows what else they're actually doing. I mean, I can't even, my brain can't even comprehend everything that's happening in the song or the music video, but there's a lot happening here, and let's just admit it. We're going to a full-fledged, you know, stereotypical rocker and Satan and all that stuff. She's talking about just going to hell and maybe having fun doing it. Yes, I am a sworn Christian man, so I don't want to say that I agree too much with all that stuff, but when it comes to just playing traditional rock and roll and everything, let the, let's let some people have a little bit of fun. Why not? I still love God, but rock is just fun. Like this, still, this still feels fun to me. I ain't going to hell. I mean, don't, don't get after me, guys. Okay, I know what I'm saying. At least I think I do. <laughs> let's just get back into this, but still a fun song.
give her an applause right there. Dude, the drums and the guitar on this are beyond insane. I think even heavier than I'm used to with Taylor. It's, I can't even like wrap my mind around anything here. I'm trying so hard to follow the music video, but let myself get engulfed by the song and it's just... <laughs> I can't even, man. This is insane. I've said this so many times in the past and I could not be more serious right now. Like This is absolutely insane. I love it. It's awesome, but it's beyond sick. It's so out there. Wow. Taylor just going to town, and especially the inappropriateness, so to speak, you know, the raunchy people being nude and everything. Dude. I'm going to Wow. Oh. That got me at the end. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't say it scared the crap out of me, but it got me a little. What an in what a song. And the lyrics are actually in the description. Sweet. I got chills and everything, dude. That was... Can I just keep saying insane? Every single element to that. Taylor's beautiful and incredible range, whether she was going for Rocker Chick or her actual singing voice, to the just thrashing guitar, and I mean, punching those drums. Forget about smacking the drums, freaking punching them. That was just nasty, well done. Reel it back, reel it back, reel it back. So let's read these lyrics. Father, did you miss me? I've been locked up a while. I got caught up, I got caught for what I did. But took it, but took it in, but took it all in style. Laid to rest all my confessions that gave way back when, but now I'm versed in so much worse. So I'm back again. And he said for the lines that I take, I'm going to hell. For the love that I make, I'm going to hell. Getting heavy with the devil. You can hear the wedding bells. Father, did you miss me? Don't ask me where I've been. You know I know. Yes, I've been told. I redefine a sin. I don't know what's driving me to put this in my head. Maybe I wish I could die. Maybe I am dead. And he said, for the laughs that I fake, I'm going to hell. For the vows that I break, I'm going to hell. For the ways that I hurt while I'm hiking up my skirt. I am sitting on a throne while, they buried in, while they're buried in the dirt. For the man that I hate, I'm going to hell. Getting heavy with the devil. You can hear the wedding bells. Please forgive me, Father. I didn't mean to bother you. The devil's in me, Father. He's inside of everything I do. For the lives that I take, I'm going to hell. For the lives that... For the laws that I break, for the love that I hate, for the lies that I make, for the way I can send and never lend a hand. My arrogance is making this head buried in the sand. For the souls I forsake, I'm going to hell. So is she asking God for forgiveness? Or is she just embracing like, sorry, Father, like I embrace you there. I under like I acknowledge you, but I'm sorry. This is the place I'm going because Earth is just wretched in sin and I'm drenching myself in sin, just having too much fun with drugs and everything. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm just going out of limb and guessing. So there's a lot to this, but I'm going to read it. The title track of Pretty Reckless sophomore album references the devastation of Hurricane Sandy, which swept through the northeastern United States in the fall of 2012. The storm ravaged their studio, wiping out the majority of the band's gear as well as batch of a batch of demos and near-completed recordings for their second set. 
We had to rebuild, Taylor said, for Call to Rolling Stone. Robson wrote the tune, this tune during the band's downtime as they struggled to regain their footing. Out of tragedy came that song. It pretty much summed everything up about the album. The, the new video for Going to Hell captures the right look for the sound of the band. Taylor Momsen, it's a subtle blast of sins and rock and roll meant to be meant to be watched over and over until the real meaning of the song kicks in. We're psyched for it to come out and for the fans to see it. Several of the pretty reckless tracks have religious overtones. Momsen admitted to Corrine that she suffers from Catholic guilt, so she was a Catholic growing up, due to her upbringing. But instead, anyone who thinks the record has a basis in religion isn't listening properly. I'm not a Satanist, and it's not what I'm saying at all, so it gets a little daunting when people take it so over the top. They're thinking of a shallow level of hell. It means that they aren't getting the point of the record. Touring the world changed my perspective. There are so many problems, and it doesn't seem like anyone's talking or writing about it. From equality and the imbalance of power to the way we don't treat the earth right and we don't treat each other right. So in other words, she's not talking about herself going to hell. The whole song is basically a metaphor for the world itself being nuts. And yes, she did have a Catholic upbringing. She was raised Catholic and so, you know, she does acknowledge God in her life. But in another way, like, you know, after how Hollywood treated her and just how the world itself was going with all the chaos and everything, she's just acknowledging that like I, I understand going back now she said the religion wasn't part of the song like she didn't make it part of the song but like the deeper meaning is not you know like yes she had a religious upbringing and stuff and she can acknowledge that from time to time but that's not the core meaning of the song it's just that the world is utter chaos and to some extent yeah that that's what she's saying is she's going to hell and the world's just crazy something to that extent i don't know i'm a little confused now i think i get what she's trying to say but i do believe i'm on the right track but I'm just not quite at the destination. It's a good song either way, honestly. Yes, I will 100% admit I am a, I'll say it time and time again, I'm not against saying it. I'm proud to say it. I am a Christian. I'm a proud Christian man. And you hear some songs like this from time to time and it just kind of makes you go, hold on, I gotta step back. It's a catchy tune. She's a good singer, all that good jazz. I don't wanna like knock anybody for it. Like this stuff is fun to listen to. I just don't wanna like sit here and go, hey, yeah, I like that stuff. I'm a Christian man, but forget that, because that's when, you know, call me a douchebag or whatever. You can say whatever you want about me. I, I just want to make sure that I still stick to my religious roots. It's a catchy tune, and gen the general meaning of the song, if it does relate to just the world going crazy, she's not wrong. I got nothing else. Well done. Bravo. I love it. Catchy tune. You're a badass singer. You guys in the comments, you let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, remember, my name is Jeff. Pep Junkies Unite. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love, peace, and chicken grease. You guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic night.